matter what our journey in life, we're all faced with common challenges. Most of us are just struggling to get by. Lack of access to drinking water, a simple meal, basic clothing, a roof over our head, not to mention the availability of healthcare and education. If you're able to get these, you're already among the highly privileged. While the majority of humans are still afflicted by abject poverty, the ones who are somehow managing to keep their heads above the vast dividing line are still running exhaustively on a treadmill. The super rich elite who set the rules of the game to reckless profiteering skew everything in their favor where economic manipulation a postmodern hegemony. In the face of the rape of nature and unsustainable economic systems, we seem to have lost track of the natural balance in nature. The emergence of virulent strains of viruses such as SARS, swine flu, and the current global outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic is a result of our unsustainable relationship with the life support systems on planet Earth. The World Health Organization and Center for Disease Control state that COVID-19 is of a zoonotic origin from either a bat or a pangolin from a wet market in Wuhan, China. Chinese authorities have acted fast to identify and control the spread as best as possible. The Chinese government has since then put a ban for sale and consumption of wild animals. The primary spread is by respiratory droplets produced when people cough or sneeze with close contact within one to two meters. While international efforts are underway by social distancing and provision of medical care by scores of selfless individuals in the healthcare sector, serious efforts have been taken by epidemiologists and research scientists towards finding a possible cure, just as they have been successful in providing cures against viruses in the past. They are going to find a cure it is just a matter of time and patience. We are at peril and cannot continue to live off mass consumerism and business as usual. In the event of this dreaded pandemic, human beings still have an opportunity to look back as a learning curve and further actualize the solutions that we are all capable of enabling. Renewable energy, green cities, electric and hydrogen fuel cell based transportation, ecologically sustainable methods of waste management, organic food production, preventative health and nature based medicine, nanotechnology, fusion reactors, education curriculum focused on critical thinking and sustainable development. Some countries are already ahead of the curve, but most of us are still grounded in fossil fuels and redundant, unsustainable systems. We're all inundated with the challenges inherent in the human condition. However, human beings are a resilient species, and we have always shown ingenuity and equanimity in the face of devastation. Humans are highly capable of making a difference by shifting the paradigm from exploitation to emancipation, from mass and callous consumerism to sustainable and balanced management of the dynamics of life on Earth. Together, 
we can overcome all challenges and ride the waves towards healing our collective wounds and embark on a fresh journey. Godspeed. Don't have a Kindle download free Kindle reading app for PC is or Mac Android from Amazon. To learn more about sustainable development go to heartintelligencebook.com